I just waited for the students for five minutes to join. So let's start the session. So today I will show how to install the operating system. I want to install Linux operating system in order to practice. Okay, but if you want to install Linux operating system means we already have Windows in our computer. It may be our laptop or desktop. We already have Windows operating system. You are using it. So you don't want to remove Windows operating system and install Linux. You don't want to remove it. But you want Linux just for practical purpose. Right. So in that scenario, what you can do is there are many options. See, if you want to practice Linux means uninstall Windows operating system, Windows and install Linux operating system. That is one method, but we don't choose that method. In dual operating system, we have so that you can install, you can use two operating systems. You can install and you can use two operating systems, Windows and Linux. But for that process also, first of all, you must uninstall Windows operating system. You must format your hard disk. There we install Windows first, then Linux. There will be dual operating system. You don't want that. So we have an option. See, we don't want to purchase a new laptop also just for practical purpose. So here we have an option called virtual machine. So there is a software called virtual machine. It is like uh, third party software. VMware. So if you install it, we have VMware or VirtualBox. We have different uh, softwares. So in Mac machines means I, I guess we are getting by default VirtualBox. Okay. So this is the software where we can create virtually computer. Physically, you don't want to purchase another computer just for practical purpose. So there is a software called Virtual. VMware software. Okay, so this is the software we have. Here you can create virtual machines. Virtually you can create computers. See, I created many computers. Like this you also can create virtually computer. Okay. So if you want to install virtual machine means, if you have, Windows 7, install VMware, Ten Pro. If you have Windows 8, mostly no one will go with Windows 8. Use VMware 11 Pro. If you have Windows 10, you can install VMware 15 Pro. If you have Windows 11, you can use VMware 16 or 17 Pro. But personally, I suggest you 16 Pro only. Anything you can use 16 or 17 Pro if you have Windows 11. Okay, so if you want to practice Linux, means first download virtual machine software. So those who registered with this course, ask Durga Soft for Telegram link. Okay, so they will create Telegram group and they will share the link with you. 
ask them, message them until you get the link, Telegram link. Okay, so you can download it or if you message me on the Telegram group, there also I will share the link. VMware link I will share. Okay, so first download virtual machine. That is one thing. Second, download ISO file. ISO file also, if you want, I will share with you on Telegram. So download ISO file, Linux operating system file. Okay, so now once you downloaded virtual machine, just double click on it, next, 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 finish installation process. So once it get installed, if it is asking for the license key, you can ask me, I'll share the license keys. Okay, so once it is installed, if you open virtual machine, the software will be like this. The screen will be like this, you'll get. Now click on create a virtual machine or click on file. There you can see new virtual machine. Here you can see new virtual machine. Click on create virtual machine. Now click on next. And select the option, I will install the operating system later. I already created virtual machines in this VMware. That is the reason this is selected by default. But when you are doing for the first time, check it properly and select, I will install the operating system later. I'm trying to explain slowly only, but if I'm going fast, or if you don't understand, you can ask me, I will repeat. Otherwise, I'll go with my flow. Next. Now, select the option Linux. Now, I want to install Linux after creating virtual machine. I want to install Linux operating system. So, I'm selecting this option. If you want to install any other operating system, you can select that option. Okay. So, which operating system you want to install? Linux. Next. And virtual machine name can be anything. You can give any name to your virtual machine or let it be. That is your wish location where you want to create virtual machine in your computer now i'm selecting i'm selecting this pc now okay here in my d drive i have space select d drive now make a new folder now Give any name. I'm just giving Linux test. It can be anything. Okay, it is already there. Okay, name can be anything. So now, in D drive, Linux directory, I mean, Linux folder is created. Next. How much space you want to give for that? I want to give 40 GB. And store virtual disk as a single file. Select this option. Finish. Now, if you observe here, virtual machine is created with 1 GB RAM, 1 processor, and 40 GB hard is the space what we give for our Linux folder that it is showing here. So, 40 GB hard disk is there. Now, virtually one computer is ready to install operating system. Instead of purchasing physically one computer, I created virtually one computer. Okay. Now, what we require? Operating system. ISO file is required, right? I already download ISO file. I already have that file. Now, select CD or DVD. Select CD or DVD and now enable use ISO image file. Browse and select ISO image where you saved. I already selected, so it is showing here. Okay. ISO file you can download and you can select that path. Otherwise, you can uh, ping me on the Telegram group. I will share the links. Now, select power on this virtual machine because I want to install the operating system. Select power on this virtual machine. Now, install or upgrade an existing system later. Select this option.
Now, select skip by using tab button in keyboard. Just click on tab button. Skip is selected. Press enter. Select skip by using tab button in our keyboard. Ma'am, if it is a actual system, we have to do bio settings in our right? Yes, if you are doing in actual machine means connect bootable pen driver uh, DVD, then uh, restart the system, go to BIOS setting and select first boot device, either uh, pen drive, USB or DVD, which you connected. Most probably nowadays we are connecting pen drive, so we select USB. Then it boots from USB. It starts installation. The process is same now. Okay. After selecting first boot device, remaining process is same. Click on next. Select language English. Select keyboard type US English. Now, basic storage device or specialized storage device. So, if you are installing Linux in your I mean, if you are installing this operating system in your normal hard disk like PATA hard disk, SATA hard disk, or SSD, we go with basic storage device. If you are installing it in server hard disk like SCSI, SAN, RAID, then we go with specialized storage device. So usually we go with basic storage device. Select basic storage device. Next. S discard any data you want to create newly. Host name means computer name. Computer name can be anything. You can give any name. <clears throat> I'm giving um, Linux PC. It can be anything. Or I'll give Swiss one. Next. Select time zone. You can select as time zone from map or you can select from drag and drop also. Asia, Kolkata. Or you can select from here also. Next. Enter root password. Remember, in Linux, while installing the operating system, it automatically creates Super user account. Super user means administrator. It automatically creates super user account. And super user login name is root. Okay. While installing the operating system in Linux, it automatically automatically creates root account. Means super user account. Super user login name is root. In Windows, there is no separate name for administrator. But in Linux, super user login name is root. So, root account is created. Already, root account is created automatically. Now, we are generating the password to that account. I generated the password and confirmed. While installing the operating system in Linux, it automatically creates root account. Okay, root is the login name for super user. And now, we generated the password. I generated the password with six characters. Now, when I press next, it is giving that you have provided a weak password because I just gave the password with six characters. I want to use the same password. Use anyway. Now, select the option create custom layout so that we can create partitions as per our requirement. Next. Now, here it is showing the total available space. Now, click on create. And select standard partition. What is this rate partitions and logical volumes that also we have separate classes. Difference between standard partition, logical volumes, rate, event swap partition. We have separate classes. Create. Now, mount point forward slash. And how much space we are giving? I'm giving. 10,000 means 10 GB forward slash. It is a parent directory. 
and compulsory partition in Linux, right? So forward slash is created with 10 GB space. Still more space is there. Click on create standard partition. Create. Now select slash boot from mount point. And the size is 200 MB is there. No? You can give 200 to 500. I'm just giving example. I'm giving 400. Okay. Now select free. Create. Standard partition. Create. Now select mount point. That select slash home. It is not compulsory to create home directory. I'm just creating. If you have normal users and if you want to reserve some space for normal users in order to use, you can create it. I'm giving 10,000 means 10 GB space to slash homes. It means my normal users can use 10 GB space. Now, click on create, standard partition, create. Now, under file system type, swap. Swap size is twice the RAM, double of the RAM. Select swap from file system type, double of the RAM. Our physical memory size is 1 GB, so I'm giving 2 GB to my RAM. And we have swap partition class separately. At the time also, I will show this. You'll get clear understanding. Still more space is there. I don't want to use this space. I will use this space after entering to the operating system. Okay, so next, format. Right changes to disk. Next. Select desktop. So here in this version, desktop is selected already. If it is not selected, select desktop so that you can use graphical user interface also. Along with command line interface, you also can use graphical user interface. Okay. So, and remaining options I'm not selecting here. Because after entering to the operating system, I will show what is the use of these options. I will explain and I will show practically also. So as of now, select desktop. What is the use of selecting this desktop also? We'll show up printing to the operating system. Click on next. Uh, madam, do we cover uh, Linux networking part also in this course? Yes, yes, I will cover networking also. Okay. First part, system administration part, and second part, network administration part. Okay, okay. Like NFS, assigning IP address, NFS configuration, DNS, DHCP, Samba configuration, this all I will show. Okay. Hello, ma'am. What about the MacBook users? 
Um, in MacBook, it seems that by default, we have that uh, virtual box. Check it once. One more thing, the remaining folders uh, like uh, opt, where there we have not assigned any space, any member, disk space. Yeah, the space which we gave to forward slash, it splits to all the directories which are under forward slash. So in real time, we give more space to forward slash so that other directories also can use that space. This is just for practical purpose, right? That's why I give 10 GB. And uh, if you have okay. server machine means slash where, uh, slash USR, this all for this all directories, we give space separately also. This is uh, just for practical purpose, right? That's why I don't give the space there. This space is enough. Okay. Means uh, here, uh, this opt where will get by, by default, they get any space yes yes they'll use the space what we give to forward slash okay. because they are all under forward slash only right so they'll use the space from forward slash no but we specifically given home separate separate we gave so if we want we can use separately uh, actually, we are not going to uh, maintain any log files, anything, right? That's why I don't get created it separately. If you have server machine, there we create separately slash where. Okay. Suppose if we have any log, it uh, have any limitation, this much space only, where can you select that any? Uh, yeah, that is a disk quotas concept. There is a concept of disk quotas, there you can limit. Okay. No, no, if we are not allocating, no, we are not allocating. So suppose if I want to uh, store more the, uh, the record, uh, file something in where folder. So any limitation? This much only? No, it's not like that. No limitation. The space, what is there for where directory? Will, you can use the space. Okay, it will take from the forward slash. Yes, yes.
reboot the computer. Click on forward. Forward means next. Sorry, Kannan. License agreement. Click on forward. Now create user username can be anything create a normal user with any name example job you can create a user with any name and enter the password i'm just giving single character password click on forward forward means next so my password is single character that's what is showing chosen password is two week s yes. select date and time Forward, forward means next. Click on OK. Click on finish. That's it. OS installation is completed. So now you can use this PC in order to practice Linux. Okay. So how to enter into this computer? Where we execute the commands, this all I'll explain in the next session. And see here, Swiss one. What is this Swiss one means? Computer name, the name what we entered while installing the operating system that it is showing here. Jack is the user, user which we created, that username it is showing. Okay, so how to log in into super user and where we execute the commands, this is all I will show in our next session. So this is about today's session, installing the operating system. In the next session, I will start the practicals, basic commands. Basic commands, practicals will be there for three days, complete basics, I will explain there. Thank you so much for the session. Thank you. You'll get the recording videos also. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me. And if anyone joined into the Telegram group, registered students, just message me once on Telegram. Mother, still I didn't get Telegram link. Come to us. This course. This course, yeah. Then they will share the Telegram group. Just message me once. Message them once. Just remind them once. Okay, sure. Uh, just message to Durga Soft. Uh, just remind them. You'll get the Telegram group. Sure, sure. Thank you.
Yeah. Mother, one question. Oracle, virtual box, and this one, both are same? Yeah, you can practice there also. There are so fun. Hello, ma'am. There is no pre-installed virtual box in Mac. There is no? Yeah, there is no pre-installed oh, virtual no... box in then, no, then no. you can uh, you can install virtual machine for Mac machines, the Mac PCs. Virtual machine you can install for Mac PC. Uh, I think one of my students having it, I will uh, uh, take the link and I will share. Other, it That's just take months on it. Yeah. That's, uh, it's showing like Oracle VM uh, VM something. Yeah, you can use that also. Okay, that's fine, ma'am. Okay, yeah, sure, okay. you can use. You can use. Okay, whatever the real time, ma'am. Uh, what kind of voice they are using, like Oracle or any kind? No, Oracle. Uh, if the Oracle also you can use, or virtual machine also you can use. In Mac machines, in real time also they use Oracle only. And those who are working with Oracle SQL, they will use Oracle Virtual Box only. Oh. Wow. And uh, actually, this days now in real time, they are giving cloud instance they are giving. So it automatically comes online. We no need to even okay. create also. You will get automatically. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, this is for only practice practice purposes, yes, right? Yes, just, just for have... practicing. Just for practicing. Okay. Thank you, ma'am.